I want to tell you a story about how I was finally able to become successful on NoFap, how I was finally able to stop. <clears throat> so it's back in 2020. I just came across a bunch of YouTube videos on the topic of NoFap. One guy in particular, his name was HTO. I don't know if you know him. He's not around anymore. His channel is gone. But anyway. I immediately was hooked on these videos. Something in my brain was literally telling me, like I was through this screen watching this dude tell me about not jerking off, retaining his seed. And I'm like, yo, I need to do that. I need to stop. <clears throat> so I tried. I tried to stop. And meanwhile, I was a complete chump at this time, okay? Like bro, weed smoker, literally a stoner, video gamer, looked like shit, had no confidence skinny as fuck no energy walking around with my shoulders forward just like head down like just a total chump in this world girl had just left me because i couldn't fuck her yeah literally my dick wouldn't get hard because i was so addicted to porn pixels on a screen instead of what was right in front of me so bro when i tell you that i came across these videos and immediately clicked for me it did i knew that's what i needed but the first month of nofap for me was horrible bro horrible i'd go three days and then that addiction would resurface and the itch would come and, and i would get horny right and every little relapse would start with just a peek i told myself oh i can just take a little peek it's just porn it's not gonna hurt me right it's just a naked booby it's not gonna hurt me the lower side of my brain my lower self would be like egging me on like oh yeah just take a little peek matt you can do it come on just take a little peek it's not gonna hurt you so what happens next my phone would be in my hand i'd be horny right had no self-control at this point, no control over my urges, nothing. And back then I associated horniness with porn and beating my meat. So I find myself on the hub and I'm like looking through thumbnails cause oh, I'm just taking a little peek, right? I'm not just gonna watch a video. I'm just gonna look at like the, the thumbnails of the, the girl getting dicked down. So <laughs> scrolling, scrolling, oh, which video is gonna catch my eye? At the same time, there's a voice in my head like, you know better, what are you doing? You probably can relate to this, bro. You have those two sides of you, the, the devil and the angel. Your higher self, your lower self. And it's a constant battle when you're trying to quit porn. It's like, every, every time it, it leads to a relapse. That little peak, oh, just a little peak, it always leads to a relapse. Always. So for my first month of NoFap, this kept happening to me. But let me tell you something right now. I would get so mad at myself when I would relapse. And hear me out, bro. Like, I'd literally get angry. All right, I'll show you a reaction that I had one time when I was done. I had just done that. Oh, I'll just take a little peek. All right, I took a little peek. It led to me edging. Okay, that's the next step. It's like, oh, now you start edging. Your dick's in your hand. Uh, you can't control yourself. Matt, get off the hub. Get off the hub. You know, it's, you know it's bad for you. No, no, no. Keep doing it. Keep doing it, bro. Literally, devil angel. Lower self, higher self. Lower self for me would always fucking take over. Chances are it does for you too. You need to just shut this little bitch voice up. And I, it would lead to a relapse. Now I got cum all over myself. I got to fucking get up, grab a towel, grab, grab paper towels, whatever. Pick my, clean my shit up, okay? And I remember after one of these relapses, I literally went like this. I was like, <clears throat> like the anger was like, like, this probably looks weird, but anger was like, fuming through my body. I was literally like, why the fuck did I do that? Like, mouth clenched. I literally had that reaction, okay? And you may be like, yo, that's bad, man. Like, your mental health is probably fucked. But yeah, a little bit. It was. But let me tell you something right now. Getting angry at myself sparked the motivation I needed to finally stop doing it. Every single relapse within that first month, I would get more and more and more mad every single time. Like, what the fuck am I doing? I am a loser. I'd see these guys on YouTube who are getting all these benefits, who are literally way better than I am, who look better, who are more confident, stronger, healthier. And I'm thinking, why am I still relapsing? So I would get pissed at myself. And it fucking worked. Oh, but Matt, you always say when you relapse, it's not a big deal. Like, you, you don't have to worry about it. I know, bro, and I'm honestly going back and forth right now because here's the thing. Yes, that's good advice. Like, if you relapse, sure, don't worry about it. But I don't know why I haven't mentioned the other side of the equation yet. Because, bro, that advice of, oh, don't worry about your relapse, it's okay. That soft kind of advice never worked for me. 
What worked for me is using my anger, using that emotion as fuel, as motivation to not do it again. That's what worked for me. So chances are, there are two people who are watching this video. One who is gonna hear this and be like, damn, that would just fuck my whole day up. If I got mad at myself, I would like, my mental health would be ruined. I don't think that would help me. Fine, but I know there are guys out there, maybe you, who are like me, exactly like me, who need to hear this message, who need to just be like, yo, yeah, okay, it is okay if I get pissed at myself. Fine, get angry, use it. Just like I did, I used it as fuel to finally stop fucking relapsing. I said to myself, I don't wanna feel like this anymore. Instead of the soft kind of advice where it's like, oh, okay, yeah, I relapse, whatever, it is what it is. A lot of guys use that advice as an excuse to just keep relapsing, because they're like, oh, but Matt said on YouTube that it's okay if I relapse, don't worry about it, just get back up and keep going, keep moving forward. Bro, that advice is for guys who relapse after a long streak, who have actually seen some success with NoFap and who happen to slip up. Happened to me too. Happens to everybody. But if you're relapsing every fucking two days, every three days, and you keep telling yourself, oh, it's okay, as long as I keep moving forward, bro, come on now. Use, use your anger. Get some fucking balls and get mad at yourself and show some fucking aggression and stop touching your meat. I mean, <laughs> that's what worked for me, dude. Maybe, maybe that'll work for you. Chances are it will, because if you're watching my videos, you are a lot like me. More like me than you probably even realize. Yeah. But then again, I'm gonna get called a hypocrite because I've already told, I've already said in a lot of videos, like, don't worry about it, it's okay. Like, 100%, if you're on a long ass streak and you relapse, bro, look at the progress you made. That's, that's great. But if you keep relapsing every three days, what are you doing? What are you doing? You gotta want it bad enough. Use the anger, get mad at yourself. It's okay, it might fuck up your mental health for a little bit, but bro, it's worth it. It's worth it to finally go on a long ass streak six months at a time, fucking three months at a time. I don't care what the days are, it doesn't matter, but like longer than what you're able to do right now because you're not actually using the anger to fire you up. You aren't even getting mad at yourself because you're just a little softy sometimes. It's okay. It's okay. Use the anger. Use it. I'm telling you right now, it's okay to use it. Yeah, I don't know why I've never actually said this to you before because I, I just assumed that everybody was different from me, but in reality, no. Everyone is l a lot like me, if, especially if you're watching my videos. You are a lot like me, so maybe this will actually fire you up. Maybe you are going to actually be able to use your anger to let it fuel you, to, to stop doing it, to stop beating your meat. Comment below if this kind of strategy worked for you as well because, bro, it is powerful. Your anger is a strong emotion. I know there's gonna be some dickheads who comment, oh man, that's so bad for you. Why would you do that? Why would you get mad at yourself? I don't even care. I don't even care. It's like, that's what worked for me. So of course I need to share that with you. There's two sides to the coin. I've already touched on this, but like, when you're relapsing in the beginning stages of NoFap, get mad, get mad. You don't wanna do that anymore. Porn is disgusting. It's ruining your brain. It's keeping you stuck. It's making you a loser. Get mad at yourself. You're done with that shit. Then you have some success on NoFap, okay? You go 30 days, two weeks, whatever it is. It, like longer than two weeks. Two weeks or longer. Then you fuck up, then you slip up. Then Princess Leia catches you off guard like myself. That's when it's okay to be like, you know what? I'm not gonna beat myself up because I know I've made it this far. I can go farther now. I can go longer. So that's when it's okay to realize, yo, progress over perfection. In that case, sure. But stop using it as cope to relapse every three days, four days, two days. Be like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna keep moving forward though. I relapse, but it's okay. Everyone on the internet says it's okay to not, to not beat yourself up. It's okay to just be soft and be a little bitch. Bro, I want this for you so badly. I want you to experience the benefits. I want you to stop beating your little monkey dick. <laughs> oh shit. Shit, shit, shit. Hope this video helped. I hope at least one guy learns from this and is able to stop choking it. With that said, if you are struggling and you wanna quit porn in the next 30 to 60 days, go click the link in the description. I will personally help you and guide you. I will hold your hand along the way. At the same time, we have a free brotherhood discord that you can join, so hop in there, get a little closer to me. Ask me a question, I may respond, I may not. I'm a busy guy now, so who knows? <laughs> oh, I'm fired up right now, bro, I'm fired up. With that said, I will see you in the next video. Like it before you leave. Peace.